everybody, Corey Thorne, the spiritual healer. Back to do the channel messages for the month of December, getting these out so that I can get out the year forecast readings for each zodiac sign. Please remember that this is not to replace any medical, psychological advice that you've been given. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's on my face. And, um, and these are not a personal reading. To book a personal reading, go to coreythorne.com. This is a, for those, it's this collective of those born under the sign of each of the zodiacs. This one is for Sagittarius. And I did do, you'll see two come up for Sagittarius. For some reason, I know we're in the middle of getting ready to, on the cusp of changing into Sagittarius season. So I think there was two different energies for Sagittarius. So I recorded one last night and now I'm recording the second one again. Um, again today and um so please bear with me on these um and so if you're reading both then i want you to know that um are you listening to both and two of them may resonate with you uh two may not or one may one may not but i even changed decks so i wanted to i felt like this one needed to be a softer energy or i was told there's a softer energy i told the, i was kind of told that the first one through channel was the first one was a bit of a wake up call it's a little bit of the whole energy of listen this is what you're doing this is you're getting yourself trapped you're getting yourself stuck in something and this is what's possible so i changed into the enchanted map by call it Van reed as a as a as a visual for the channel message that I'm getting. So what I'm getting for Sagittarius for December, in a second reading, is the fact that during the first half you're going you you know you're going to have some of that old energy that's trapping and holding you, and I feel like you've been held kind of captive to this to this fear story of the past. Some somehow being taught caught in this energy. I feel as if like there's a shift, there's an energy like you've been guided and being directed into, into, into the light, kind of into this lighter energy. I feel like what's held you back, what's kept you from not being afraid to, to kind of advance forward was it, like the thought of being trapped in something. This time I feel like it's like what's happening in this reading is that now I'm working with your open heart. I feel like for Sagittarius, you're closing yourself off. You're afraid to let somebody see you. You're afraid people will fully see all of you. And so this reading goes into, so it's like, happy birthday, Sagittarius, you get two readings. And this is like the, you're opening your heart, taking kind of that, taking that leap of faith into allowing your heart to open, to trust the journey and that you're still not listening though. There's some listening issues that came up. So in this reading, I have a lot of listening issues. I have a lot of issues, a lot of it listening, like a lack of being able to listen is that you're not really still like, you're still trying to be in control Sagittarius. And that's a part of your, that's a part of the energy around you. It's like, you want to be boss. You want to be in control. You want to be in charge. You want to, things to go your way. And, and life is trying to tell you that if you let go, if you let go of that energy right now, if you just surrender that over, if you not, if you not try to be the strong one, if you not try to carry the weight of the world, if you just let, let things go. And I feel like if you continue to hold on so tight to trying to be in charge, I feel like there's going to be like a real collapse here. Um, and I mean a collapse for you, that it's like the world is trying to compass, like there's this compass and I have the compass here. And I have that, it's trying to, the universal energy that guides your loved ones are trying to, trying to guide you into a direction that best aligns to who you need to be or, or the way that you need to show up for the future endeavors upon this world. And so this really truly is about, you're not letting in, you're not letting the guides guide you. You're still trying to even control the guides. You're trying to control the energy. You're trying to control the life and that you're holding yourself from being able to full, come fully apart. There is a death in the Sagittarius energy for, uh, for December. And that could mean, that doesn't always mean that somebody's dying. It could mean a death of an old, it could mean a let go. I feel as if there was a, um, a sense that everything and everybody you've been trying to hold on to, you can't, you can't stop fade it. And, and in the Sagittarius, I feel as if there is a passing of something or somebody 
that's appearing. And, um, and I don't always go into the death so much of a human or a person, but this is really coming forth for me is that it's, it's those, one of those things you weren't expecting it. You're getting like, it's that sense of you weren't expecting this door to open. You weren't expecting this to happen. You weren't, but that's life. We don't know what's coming. We don't know what's before us. We don't know what's happening and that we have to just trust the journey. And that during this process, I feel like it's like, that's when you start to discover that, um, all the guides were trying to prepare you for this change, preparing you for that whole having to kind of fall, something kind of having to fall apart around you so that you can start coming into 2021 in a different energy. For my Sagittarius, I feel like 2021 is kind of, there's some breaks being put on like everything that you would have want to done in, in, in the beginning of 2021, I feel like it's like, there's like some halt energy. I feel like there's some breaks, like, and I don't know if that's your own digging your own heels in, or if that's the world energy, but I feel as if we still got some, there's some darkness energy that, that penetrates in through here. And it's like, you need to be the light in the dark. And it's like opening your heart to the help, to the acceptance, to the love, to the energy, to the world, to all that this brings forth for you, because it is going to be a, it is going to be a new direction. There is going to be some clarity that comes with this. Um, I feel also for Sagittarius, those born in Sagittarius energy, is that there is a big, like, a change in home, a change in direction. So that could also be a change in you. It could be a change in, um, in location, but it's like, it's like all of a sudden there's something and it's fascinating. This is kind of fascinating to me that there's this fascinating energy that just, that just like shifts gears. Like you're, it's like all of a sudden you're shifting gears, shifting direction. It could be in all of a sudden, a. uh, a fuck it, we're moving, a fuck it, we're going, we're doing this, we're moving forward. And it could be that, but it's like something of this energy, that's the shift, this change. And I seen it in the last one, in the last uh, Sagittarius, where I said it was like a capsule energy. And same thing, it's like, there's a shift. It's like, you're going this way. And then all of a sudden the gears shift and something changes again. And with that, I feel like it's like you, there's this beautiful spark of energy. There's this spark of light. There's this spark of rebirth. There's this, there's this new energy that comes. And I feel like it's like, you're really going to see this coming forth for you. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what your forecast reading brings for this as well, because it's like, as much as there is a challenge is that you're going to have to trust the universal energy. You're going to have to trust the, uh, you're going to have to trust in that your prayers have been heard and that your, that miracles can happen because it's, it's like, it's an all of a sudden thing. And the power of the I am is huge here. And, and the power of the I am is in that conviction of knowing our truth without fear, ego, that there is a, there's a peak, a crack. And I feel like it's in the upstairs. So it's in our higher chakras. It's in listening to our higher self and not so much into your human self, because for some reason that human self and, and I, and I have the wheel of fortune and the lover card, both are in reverse. I'm back to, I, it keeps drawing me back into the tarot back into the, so I'm going back into the tarot again. And I feel like this is taking me backwards again. It's like, you keep spinning back here. There's some backward spinning. There's still something to be, to be completed, to be finished. That keeps sending you back. Um, that's holding you back. And it's like, and I got the relation, the lover's card in reverse and it's, and it's all around you. It's your relationship with yourself. It is about you. What's holding you back from, from opening up, um, opening fully up by not fully being, being present. There's some sense of, I want to say it's some sense of insecurity energy that you in the Sagittarius energy has largely around you. I feel like in order for you to have the best relationships that this really truly has to be resolved. I do have some mother issues coming up here. I have some, and not issues. I have some mother daughter connection energy. And I don't know where it's that need of being like caring for mom or connect reconnecting to a mother or, or kind of repairing that mother energy or moving beyond the fact that you may be 
like be like your mother. We all have aspects of our mothers. We're all like our moms to a certain degree, and we all carry our mom's stories. That's a part of the generational stories of mother and daughter. And so I just feel like there's like, um, um, if almost like mom may be needing you, if or or there will be healing around the mother daughter relationship. But I'm picking up the mother in this, and 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 this could be a mother son too. It's not just a mother daughter, a mother son. Um, it can be a mom and a son relationship. Also, um, I also see some shifting and moving of your finances and, and money. So um, it could be selling of a business. So it's almost I almost see like like selling a business home, like we're out of here, we're going somewhere else, we're doing something new. That is playing out for some of my Sagittarius. I also feel like for marriage, for relationships, that it's truly time to set the intention of what your priorities are and get your priorities straight. And I feel like it's like if there's one person or the other person that feels like very much controlling, that's not going to work into 2021, that you're going to have to figure this out. And I feel like some of you may be walking the journey alone. I feel like there's going to be a journey, some journeys with within relationships where there will see some parting, some coming apart, and you're going to have to be walking the journey alone, walking in new directions. And it may be ending in a good way. And, and, or if you've been in that in, if you've been in that break energy where you've been breaking from each other, it's like you're finally doing the final pieces, finishing up the the legal, finishing up the putting, the finishing touches upon um, upon a divorce and setting an intention of planting new seeds, moving forward, growing into full 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 self is what I get. Um, I feel, I'm like. I feel like it's like with all this, you're going to be able to breathe. You're going to be able to move forward, but it's a busy, like this is not all for December. I feel like some of this is trailing you into, leave it to my Sagittarius to be forward thinking here. You're forward thinking, you're getting too far ahead of yourself. We need to plant you back into the here and now, do that work that keeps pulling you forward because I feel like this is part of your, your forecast reading that's kind of slipping in here because you have this desire to know you want to know everything now. You want to figure it all out now. And see, there's the justice, the justice and the five of cups. Like I said, this is tied around some sorrow stories, some past stories, finding, you know, finally getting justice in in that um, finishing up something, completing something, coming full circle. A lot of a lot of endings and beginnings. There is definitely some death stuff happening in the energy for you. And being able to move uh, like be guided by the light, be guided by the guides and trust this next stage of your journey. Definitely some challenges, but Sagittarius, I have not seen you not be able to overcome those challenges and, um, and to be able to trust in yourself. It's like, know that you have to be guided by faith during a lot of December, guided by love and know that as we move into the new year, don't get too far ahead of yourself. One foot, one step, one day at a time. Finishing up the last little bit of that past healing, like I said, and the relationship between a, a mom and a, and a daughter or son type of thing, that's also there as well. So a lot of like coming full circle moments, coming to fin coming together um, in, in the full healing journey, but also some big changes, like big directions. So um, much love to you all. Have a wonderful December. And I hope one of these two readings resonates with you somewhere. Next up. Bye-bye.